Hello and welcome to Wireless Forensics. We're going to provide you the solutions to the intermediate questions um, which are listed here. Not all questions um, we provide the solution to because some of the questions are theory based questions, especially questions 7 and 8. Okay. So the first question is a tool required to sniff the wireless packets. We use Wireshark, which is a freeware tool you can download from the internet, and preferably you want to run the tool as administrator. I've already got the tool open, so I'll open that for you now. Okay, now the first question is what is the security method used for protecting Mrs. Wireless, Mrs. Beckett's, not Mrs. Wireless, sorry, Mrs. Beckett's wireless network, okay? And we identify that by looking into a data packet. And if you look into a data packet, we can see web parameters that shows that Mrs. Beckett's or Miss Beckett's is using web to protect her wireless network. Now what we're going to do is we're going to decrypt these packets, and currently they are encrypted using web. So we open, we're going to edit and preferences, and we click on protocols, and we're going to scroll down to IEEE 802.11, click enable decryption, and enter the web key. The web key you identified from the very first video when we um, cracked the web. Apply that now, you can see that the decryption is taking place, only takes a few seconds. Fantastic. Now we notice that there are a lot more packets and they're not all defined as IEEE. We're going to identify the email addresses used in the MSN conversation. So we're going to run the filter on MSN MS. We're going to look at, few, look at a few of these packets. Try and identify it. Okay, so in this packet we can see that it came from Tom Sparks at hotmail.co.uk and it was sent from Arnold at hotmail.co.uk so they, they, they are the two emails in two email addresses in question for the investigation of this packet capture and cancel that filter the next thing we're going to look at is a google search um, building the evidence we did carry out a google search so we want to identify um, what the google search was carried out on so we know what the stolen goods are in question um, to do this we need to find a specific packet I have given you a number for those packets the packets are between 22965 and 22970 okay the actual answer is found in the packet 22970 bear me just a moment whilst I identify that packet for you Within that packet, it should clearly state the website that was visited to carry out the search and it also should also um, identify the actual um, keyword that was searched. Okay, so we've got the packet now. I'm going to double click on that to open it up for you. Okay, so there you can clearly see Google. It's actually given you the information twice. There you go. And in this line of information here, you can see 1TB and you can also see hard drives. So it looks like the person was searching for 1 terabyte hard drives. Right, so we know that there was an MSN conversation that took place. We know that um, a Google search was carried out on 1 terabyte hard drives. What we're going to do now is have a look at the MSN conversation, okay? We're not going to look at the entire conversation, I'm just going to identify a few of the packets, okay? Your job, it's your job to um, analyze the entire conversation for question, one of the questions. Okay, so we're going to do a filter on MSNMS. And some packets will contain information on the conversation and some will not. That one didn't. Next one. Let's see. What do you mean fishy? Are you okay? Can you explain this? These are messages coming out, coming from externally, from, from Arnold Patel. Okay, so you want to look at the messages that, were, that are sent from the computer to the person outside the network. So for that, we run the front on HTTP. Okay, and we can see here that there's a conversation, I need to cancel the next shipments okay so basically that's what we have there for you the HTTP and the MSNMS packets you've got the other two questions to do which are theory questions and the stolen goods in mentions are hard drives thank you for watching